Hey, what up you guys? It's Danny B. You're watching the Trash Dish. It's gonna be kind of a quick video, but I just want to show a couple like movie pickups I got. But also, first up, I picked up this cool t-shirt from uh, Spirit Halloween. I always like the ghost face ones I do. I got the other one that said like scary movies and chill. I thought this one was like very kind of like Brian De Palma-ish, so I had to get that one too. All right, first up I got this Amityville Collection, uh, Amityville Evil Escapes, New Generation, It's About Time, and Dollhouse. And I saw the little like the, you know, the 15 thing on there, so I thought it was region two, but it's actually yeah, like region, all region, ABC. But yeah, this was like the cheapest way to get all these movies on. Um, I think this is even cheaper than buying them all on VHS tapes. So yeah, this is like, I think like 30 bucks for all four of them on Blu-ray. It's a pretty good deal. Next up, I also got this one from Spirit Halloween 2. Um, kind of like a fake VHS, but you could put an actual VHS tape in this thing, which is why I got it. It also comes with some cool stuff, especially the coolest thing it comes with is this like Halloween 2 patch, which I'm probably gonna throw that on a beanie or something. A couple stickers. I think there's like a lanyard in this thing. A couple buttons, just like a little lanyard thing, which I don't know why when I'd ever wear this thing, but um, it did have like, I don't know what I did with it, but it had like a little rubber Halloween 2 thing. And I'm gonna take that off and maybe put it on a keychain or something. Oh yeah, here it is. So yeah, I might you I might throw that like on my keychain or something. That's kind of cool. This thing says it has reversible art, but um, I flipped it over and it was the exact same thing, but just without any of the uh, like six items and spirit collector boxes. Just basically just the plain box. But yeah, I'm thinking I might dub um like a blank VHS tape with Halloween too and just throw it in there. All right, next up I got some Bruno and Matai films. I got Violence in a Woman's Prison and. Uh, Women's Prison Massacre. These are both pretty good, um, you know, women prison films. I don't know if I like them as much as like Jess Franco's ones, but it's still pretty fun. This one's more like a woman in prison film, like a straight up women's prison film. This one has like these four guys that get transferred to the prison and then they take everyone hostage. Um, between the two, I think I kind of like this one maybe just a little better. This one's a better film, I think, but this one had just kind of like some cheesy effects and stuff in it that I like. All right, next up, I found a copy of Wrong Turn at um, Goodwill. And I saw this movie back when it was in theaters and I, I always kind of liked it. And yeah, Wrong Turn. Next up, I got Wrong Turn 3. I think this might be the only Wrong Turn sequel I've ever seen. Um, I gotta check out the rest of the franchise. And next up, I got John Carpenter's Vampires. In like the heaviest uh, DVD case I've ever held, I think. I don't know what they made this case out of, but it's way heavier than any DVD case I've ever had. Like, can you see how heavy that thing is? <laughs> Next up, I got Amityville 3D, just to kind of complete the collection. I'm not a big fan of this one, but I saw it for like three bucks. So I was like, all right. All right. Next up, I got Joe Dirt. I always love this movie. Um, one of my favorite kind of like. Uh, I know it's David Spade, but it's kind of like an Adam Sandler style comedy. I like this one a lot better than like a lot of these kind of like PG-13 style comedies that were coming out at the time. Except I got Amityville The Awakening. It's one of the better Amityville uh, films in my opinion. Directed by uh, Frank Calfoon. Calfoon. The guy that directed the Maniac remake in P2. Uh, yeah, he, this guy's a good horror director, so yeah. Um, Amityville The Awakening, pretty good one. Next up I got uh, Open 24 Hours. It's a pretty good slasher psychological horror film. I watched it I think a year ago or maybe two years ago. I remember really liking it. Uh, so I saw it for, you know, four bucks at Big Lot. So picked it up. All right, next up I got Drive. And I've been sleeping on this one for a long time. I never checked it out. So I finally checked it out the other day. And like within the first 10 minutes of uh, watching it, I, you know, I rented it on YouTube. And after like the first 10 minute scene, I was like, all right, let me just order this thing. So got the Blu-ray, really good movie. Uh, Nicholas Winding Refn. I, I like Nicholas Winding Refn. I've seen like uh, Push Your Part 3 and The Neon Demon. Um, yeah, I don't know why I never checked this one out. But yeah, it was, I think I was thinking this one was going to be like some like really cheesy 
like 80s like where everything's trying to look too much like the 80s or something that's that wasn't the case at all like it's a modern movie it's just kind of like i guess people said that because it had like, electronic music in it but no this one was really cool drive and then another nicholas winding reference film and then this is going to be the last pickup um i picked up bleeder I heard that I haven't watched this one yet. Uh, I heard someone saying this was really, really hard to find, so I looked it up. I found a there was one copy listed for twenty bucks, so I just went ahead and ordered it. And I, I was looking through eBay and stuff. There's not any other copies of this that are listed at all. Like not even like Region Two releases or nothing. So, but yeah, hopefully it's good. It's got four stars. Um, yeah, another Nicholas Wine and Rip film. Hey anyway, guys, that's gonna do it. That was my uh, little pickup uh, DVD and Blu-ray haul, and uh, fake VHS too. Danny B, you're watching the trash dish. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.